So, <laughs> sound check first. I learn. <laughs> so uh, today, some of you guys asked me about mastering video. So to be, I'm not a mastering engineer. That's my honest. Um, and yeah, I don't master so much, but I know how to master my tracks enough for SoundCloud. I think. So I don't know it. I can tell you how I do it. Let's say it like this. And I mastered my recent e uh, EP, Robots, I mastered myself and some people liked it really a lot, so the mastering. So to be honest, it was a lot uh, learned by doing at that moment. It's, uh, but I can uh, show you some tools that I used to master it and how I mastered the track to get it ready for SoundCloud because you know, if you make your track, I see a lot of people doing this always, you know, they make a track and then put it on SoundCloud like they made it. but. I did this also, this is the cleanest way, you know, because we have no clue about mastering all of us. But um, the problem is when people hear it on there, it may sound stupid, but as if, if you want to get uh, bigger, this is the way to do it. Um, the um, On SoundCloud, when people listen it on the phone or something, or then it's really, really, really quiet and then it doesn't sound good. That's the, that's the, you know, that, that, you know, if you hear your track and then you don't almost don't hear the bass because it's so quiet you put the phone on loudest and you probably go to the next one and then they don't listen it you know what i mean think about it it's, it may sound stupid but it's really um so i start pre-mastering my tracks for soundcloud you know like until uh, zero uh, db or maybe a little bit less i always do try to do a little bit less because i don't like this maximum mastering if i let my track master i always choose a master engineer that uh, doesn't go full power to zero dB because that's like over compressed in my opinion and then you lose all the dynamics you made in your track. So yeah, let's get into it. This is a track I was making, uh, I made, this is finished even I think, yeah. It's not like the best one I ever made but it's, I'm pretty happy with it. I can show you guys a little bit about it, my favorite part. That's my favorite part, the triple uh, triplets part. I know triplets everybody hates, but we, I think we talked about it in another video about uh, tempo changing. And I think it can do magic if you do it the right way. But yeah. Um, so this one I made, and now I want to make it ready to put on SoundCloud. I already sent it this version without doing anything to the other master engineer for the release. And now I want to make it ready for, the, for SoundCloud and myself. So then I go always on the stereo out for sure, the mastering ch master channel. What I use, this is not mastering to release it, you know, this is just like to make it louder and a little bit more with a little bit more color in the sound. So I use these four plugins, to be honest, three plugins, set term. I use the 
throw EQ, but it is the one I can leave on site. This is only to loop if there are some um, frequencies that go way higher than all the other ones, and then I can uh, EQ them out. Um, and then the fab filter limiter. So let's uh, maybe I start from from zero because I started already here yesterday. I'm so bad at preparing stuff. <laughs> I tried to prepare and then I, I don't know. So let's open this one new and this one also. So let's listen. <laughs> So this is a multi multi band compressor. So what this is do? This um, uh, separates the bands, you know, like the low, the mid low, the mid, the mid high, and the highs. The these bands, and you can compress them separately. So the bass, the low frequencies, I mostly leave untouched because uh, it depends on <coughs> how you make your track. But um, I'm mostly so untouched with my tracks because I, I like my bass frequencies, how I make them originally. So I start mostly with the mid-low and the mid-highs. So what I do is to, to give them a little bit of compression, but not much. Just a little bit lower, this one. Wait, I put on this. Um, you see my arrow? No, fuck. <laughs> no. I know the sound is gone. I knew I forgot something, the arrow. Yeah, it's funny, you know, for you guys it's probably funny every time the same. And then suddenly it works, nobody know why. Um, so, so put these a little bit down, so compress them a little bit. And you know what, what I like uh, in my tracks is like the high frequencies should be when you master track the high, the mid low, no, uh, the mid high. So this band, this band between 500,000 uh, and uh, 4K um, should be like a little bit, how do you say it? Like a little bit wide, a little bit more bright, you know. So I compress this a little bit. So I compress it here down, and then here I put the band a little bit up. And then a little bit down here. Okay, let's listen. they are more present you know you see even the moving here how it is compressing so the second thing set term so I want you to listen I will leave it off now and then I put it on and just without doing nothing in the plugin it is already really nice so it gives more saturation saturation is like um, giving more color to the sound saturation you can also use in the bass line or on every sound and it's, it's so nice on the mastering also, I think it gives like the whole track more color and, and it like like it's, it melts everything together somehow. So let's start playing. I'll put it on.
bands are really nice. What I mostly do, make three bands also. So the low, the a big mid one and the high one. And like this you can give the give these bands separately. Um, Hi! Today's not my day, sorry guys. <laughs> now my monitor lost connection again and now I have to... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This may be the reason I don't make so much videos anymore because everything is like broken in my studio when it comes to making these videos. And like, this corona stuff is, is killing me to invest more in my studio. So that um, allows you to uh, adjust the band separately, you know, if you have no bands made here then you can just uh, put the drive on, the drive is like more saturation and stuff for um, the all the bands, you know, the whole track, now you can separate it, you know, so if you want more bass, Like this sounds good. Let's have a look in the fab filter if something is, is annoying me. looks good sometimes you have like like this here like one peak that's coming out of here and then you can just like adjust like this you know so and then fab filter a limiter you can use pretty much every limiter this is to make it loud you know and here it's like don't um, go too far here that's the trick you know some people oh, I'll lick it louder lick it louder and then you don't hear the whole track and then you have like a part where too much sounds come together and then it's like over distorted and everything so let's see. see now it's like minus 60 beats like something and we want to get it like around here you know some peaks can go over it you will see it and get red so it means it's compressing it that it doesn't go over uh, zero dBs but you don't want to have everything red you know just like some peaks and then it will stay uh, sound clean <laughs>
Sounds good. Sounds really good, yeah. So you can also make it a little bit wider maybe, that's also something some people like, I don't like it too much. This is something you will hear in every YouTube video if you look for mastering, but it's mostly you know for, for music with not so much layers like we make. So I, probably, I mostly don't touch this stuff, or a little bit just, because, you know, we look about it. If I, if you followed my teaching, I said the bass in the middle, that there, you know, and that's why you don't need this in the end, because you will do this. You have done this already in your production, to make everything as wide as possible. Yeah, you can use it a little bit, but I don't want to go over top with this, because it's more like for rock music or for music with um, not so much channels, like minimal or something. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. Like I said, I'm not a mastering engineer. I was thinking about making the course, but then uh, Corona happened. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you need any more tips, let me know. And yeah, see you for the next one.